Hey guys, even here, and I wanna start this video, my first video in 2024, by wishing everybody a happy new year, I wish you guys great gains, and I promise you that 2024 is gonna be a very interesting, very entertaining, very exciting year for bodybuilding fans. So we are starting this video with a back update, a physique update of Hari Chupan, and we are taking a look at his Christmas tree. Or are we? Well, right now, Hari Japan is like 10 weeks, 9 weeks out of the Arnold Classic, and you know, he's not really contest ready. But even when he is contest ready, does he really have a Christmas tree? Well, here is a photo from 2023 Mr. Olympia where he lost to Derek Lunsford. And I think it's pretty safe to say that this pose is basically why he lost that Mr. Olympia. In 2022, he won the Mr. Olympia, I think he was in a little bit better conditioning, but he was criticized heavily for his back, for his back double bicep, for the lack of separation and conditioning in the back. As you can see, he was a little bit smaller in 2022, he was bigger in 2023, and I think his back has also gotten thicker, but it was the same quality, like those details, those parts of the back weren't improved, his back wasn't more detailed, it wasn't more separated, it wasn't more conditioned, and that's basically why he lost the Mr. Olympia, and now he's preparing for the Arnold Classic. He will not have Derek Lansford to face at that show, but he will have Samson Dauda, who is probably gonna be more conditioned. Now, I wonder who actually won the back double bicep shot at the Mr. Olympia, because Hadi, that's probably his weakest pose, and Samson, he was criticized for his back, but not so much anymore. I mean, it's still probably his weakest point, but he improved it a lot, and it's very detailed. Now here in this photo, Hadi is out angling Samson big time, big time. Now if these guys were standing on a one line, Samson would look much, much bigger. So if he gets more conditioned and, you know, stays the same size, and let's say Hadi comes in in his usual shape, maybe a little bit sharper as well, who's going to be winning this show and who's going to be winning this shot? Well, that's, that's something we're going to find out very soon in 10 weeks, actually 9 weeks. It's really hard to say at this point, but Hadi is preparing for this fight. It's not very often that we get to see Hadi's back in the offseason, especially in the back double bicep, but I guess just the way he realized that he may have lost that Mr. Olympia because he was completely inactive on social media and he started posting a lot of stuff, maybe he also realized that you know the back hurt him a lot, so now he's probably working hard on improving it. As far as his style of training the back, I don't think it's optimal, but let's not discuss that, let's just pay attention to what his physique looks like. Obviously he thinks his back is looking good or better, that's why he's posting it. So does it look better? Did he in fact improve it? It's gonna be really hard to say before we see these guys on that stage, under this lighting, with this filter, it's really hard to say, but I think... His back does look very thick. Is this back gonna ever be, uh, you know, Derek Clansford back? No, no, it's never gonna get to that point, but can it be better? I think it can. And if it is good enough and everything else is super impressive, maybe Hadi can win back that Mr. Olympia, but Mr. Olympia is in a distant future. First, he's gonna have to overcome Arnold Classic and beat Samson Dauda, because if he loses that he loses a lot of momentum, that puts him at the third spot in the world, is he gonna be able to recover from that and win the Mr. Olympia again? Sure, it's still possible, but it's gonna be harder for sure, so first he needs to win this Arnold Classic and beat Samson Dauda, can he do that? Well, he just did it two months ago, but can he do it again? Can he do it at the Arnold Classic? Well, based on what Milos Sharchev is saying about Samson, that they're gonna go for conditioning, better conditioning this year at the Arnold, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Hadi can do it. If Samson is shredded, yeah, it's gonna be really tough for Hadi to win that show. But I guess we'll see. Like I said, it's gonna be a very, very exciting year. Now, let's take a look at Samson, actually. He posted another posing video, under the same lighting, like usual, 
I guess he decided to do this kind of stuff like Nick Walker is doing. Same lighting, same everything and probably weekly check-ins so we can see exactly what is going on with his physique. Do I like this approach? I would say not so much. It kind of, you know, kills the excitement. I like to see different angles, different lighting different poses and so on if you see the same thing every week you barely even notice a difference it's not super exciting really he's probably taking these videos for his coach and he's just uploading them so it's it's the most accurate way to to follow someone's progress that's for sure so let's let's check this out we're gonna see exactly where samson is at this point in his last physique update of 2023 at 10 weeks out of the Arnold classic so as you can see his conditioning is really good like he he seems like he didn't lose almost any of it from his competitive season as you guys remember he continued competing after the mr olympia for a couple of weekends so he stayed in really good shape and you know he couldn't have messed it up too much so he's gonna be super lean during the entire prep so he's probably gonna be able to eat a lot because he's already in shape and i believe because of that he is gonna make progress and hopefully most of that progress is gonna be in that back and in those glutes you know his glutes are gonna be lean and separated of course that's the conditioning thing but i think the more muscle you have in a certain area it makes it look harder even if it's not more conditioned so i think he's gonna make progress and i mean the way he looks right now already at this point yeah it's gonna be a really good battle between these two guys i have no idea really who's gonna win i would like that to be samson i also believe it's gonna be samson but if he doesn't bring it and hardy wins it i'll be okay with that whoever is the best should win of course but you guys know that i'm a fan of samson's physique i think he's very aesthetic very very pleasing to the eye you know tall guy with beautiful structure beautiful shape round muscle bellies very complete physique you know flows really well a good poser and everything like that so yeah i believe he's got enough to win the Arnold Classic again to defend his title I know Hari Japan is a big big threat but yeah I would still bet on Samson whatever you guys think tell me down below what about this guy what about James Collins yet how well will he do at the Arnold Classic and you guys probably maybe know that I'm a fan of James Hollins head he is a big bodybuilder he's a strong bodybuilder as well he competes in like 270 something so he's a massive guy but he never really had the best quality the best separation in his physique a lot of muscle not the best quality and now he's working with Milo Sharchev. Now, first of all, in these physique updates that are very transparent, they're not really hiding anything. You can see exactly what is going on. I'm assuming also that this is, you know, in the morning, uh, right after waking up without food or water, without a pump. So I would say he, he looks kind of underwhelming. You know, he seems here that he really didn't make a lot of progress since the last time he competed it's gonna be a year and a half between his last show to arnold classic and i'm looking at his photos and i'm thinking is it possible that he made no progress i'm pretty sure the reason he took the time off was to actually focus on growing on improving i'm sure he should have improved at least a little bit but in these photos it doesn't really seem like that much now like i said he is training with milo sharchev now and they have been working together for a couple of months now i also work with milo sharchev i know what his approach is basically with other athletes everybody talked about this before so he uses a lot of insulin and in the off season before james started prepping they were probably pushing it with carbs and insulin and he was super full super blown up but then if you guys tried this you experienced this you know what i'm talking about once you go off of the insulin and the carbs you lose a lot of that fullness like you look flatter than ever and james right here looks pretty flat so i'm guessing once he loses some more body fat and refreshes his insulin receptors he gets more insulin sensitive and they actually throw some more uh, carbs into the system again he's probably gonna get back that fullness and hardness that he kind of seems to have lost here and that's why he seems smaller you know here he doesn't look 
like his biggest self, you know, like I said, he was 270 on stage, check this out. I was expecting him to come in even bigger this year than he was last year and hopefully, you know, with more quality, more details, more conditioning. We'll see what Milos is gonna do with him. When these guys started working together, it kind of didn't really make too much sense to me. I remember James kind of making fun of Milos's protocols a couple of years back when he was listening to Ben Chow talking about this on Fuad's podcast. He thought it was basically nonsense. And I know that uh, James has a completely different approach to training. Like he does a lot of heavy stuff. He doesn't eat a lot of protein. He doesn't do the, the, the insulin and, and intra carbs and stuff like that. So whatever he's doing with Milos now is completely different for him. It's either going to work in his favor, he's going to bring his absolute best, or, you know, there is a reason why he never did it before, it's because it doesn't work for him. We'll see, soon enough, which is it. I know Milos can probably pick him right, and that's what James really needs, you know, he never really picks the best, so I think that part is going to be covered, but as far as him bringing his absolute biggest, I don't know about that, because, I mean, in these photos, once again, not super impressive, not, not, not as much as I would expect. I mean, he is very lean, as you can see, he's, he's shredded at this point already. But, yeah, not, not the biggest, not the fullest uh, James I ever saw. His gym videos, his training videos are a different story. They are edited, you know, they're definitely sharpened up. But he does look really massive, his back especially. He looks very grainy, he looks full. So I don't know what to think, the videos, you know, he looks really good, but those photos a little bit smaller and like he didn't make a lot of progress in the offseason, that's the impression that I get, if you guys disagree, you can tell me down below in the comment section, tell me how you think this partnership is gonna go, is James gonna bring his absolute best to the Arnold Classic or not? Whatever your thoughts are, guys, tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more bodybuilding content like this, guys, please click that subscribe button. Thank you so much. See you soon, guys. All the best and bye-bye.